Hello students, let us start today's class. Today I will be uh, discussing about linear convolution. Linear convolution. Okay. Let us see what exactly is linear convolution. We are having two signals again here. First signal, let us take it as x1 n and second signal x to n. Now when I am linearly convoluting these two signals that is I am obtaining the third signal x3 n x1 n convoluted with x2 n. Right? Here you can see you are just putting a star not a round around that. Circular convolution means you would have put like this a star around that a round circle. That shows that it is a circular convolution. If it is simply a star, then it shows that it is a linear convolution. Now, linear convolution generally you have done it in signals and system. It follows this formula. Summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 k x2 of n minus k. See, both formulas whether it is circular convolution or linear convolutions are very similar. But there is one difference. The second signal whatever is there, no? Second signal, you are folding it and putting it in linear way, not in a circular way. In case of circular convolution, you are having another bracket here. Shows that it is a circular representation. In case of linear, it is simply x2 of n minus k. You are not putting another bracket. Hmm? That is what is the major difference. The second signal is circularly represented in circular convolution, whereas in linear convolution, second signal is simply folded and kept in a linear manner. Now, uh, what exactly, uh, how exactly to do linear convolution? See, linear convolution, uh, we can use the method of uh, circular convolution. Okay, How exactly to do that? Let us see the some theoretical background re regarding this. First, let us take x1 n. This is of length l. Okay. This is of length L, first signal. Let us take second signal, x2 of n, it is of length m. Okay? Now, when you are linearly convoluting these two signals, you are obtaining the third signal x3n, isn't it? x3n will be of length L plus m minus 1. Please note that it is of length L plus m minus 1. For example, the first signal, if it is of length 4 and second signal is of length 4, then what will be the length of the third signal? The third signal length, let me take it as n, the third signal length, n will be equal to 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4 minus 1, which is equal to 7. The length of the uh, third signal, which is linear convolution of first two signals, the output signal length will be 7. This is very important. In case of linear convolution, it is 7. If it is circularly convoluted, then what is the answer? You know that when I am circularly convoluting x1 and x2, the answer will be hmm, 4, isn't it? That means x1n circularly convoluted with x2n. What is the length of the output? Please note that it is 4. Why it is 4? Maximum length is 4 here. Similarly, x1n linearly convoluted with x2n. Please note this. Very, very important. x1n linearly convoluted with second signal. The output is of length 4 plus 4 minus 1. It is of length 7. That is what is the difference between circular and linear convolution. This is very important point which one should understand hmm? which one should understand now you are uh, i hope you understood the basic difference between circular and linear convolution now now what is the use of uh, linear convolution see use of linear convolution see use of linear convolution is in filtering filtering it is useful in filtering. What exactly is filtering? See, you are you are given with 
a system hmm? the system is represented by h of n you know that it is represented by h of n what is the input x of n output will be y of n this very famous equation y of n is equal to x of n convoluted with h of n isn't it hmm? hence to obtain the output if impulse response h of n is given and input x of n is given it is possible for you to obtain output using linear convolution hmm? hence linear convolution is useful in obtaining the output hmm, if you are given with an input and impulse response that's what is the use now how exactly to apply hmm, uh, or find linear convolution using circular convolution method hmm? i will write that finding linear convolution hmm? finding linear convolution how 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 i am doing how i am doing is huh? first first hmm? try to see that you are given with x1n correct x1n this is of length l second signal x2n it is of length m hmm? now you know that to obtain linear convolution x1n x2n what will be the output length you know that it is l plus m minus 1 correct l plus m minus 1 now this l plus m minus 1 is is the length of the output or it is taken as the dft point n n must be greater than or equal to l plus m minus 1 this is very important hmm? whereas this n is called as circular dft point this is circular dft point now what you have to do is you have to append both x1 and x2 with number of zeros which are minimum as compared to n hmm? that means x1 n whatever is there no you have to first numbers will come here you have to append with zeros similarly x2 n whatever is there no here you have to append with zeros these zeros whatever are there no these zeros will uh, suffice for the number of uh, minimum number of dft point which is required that's how you will find linear convolution using circular convolution method i i just recap whatever i have done please try to understand at least out of this board very important point that what is the difference between circular convolution and linear convolution hmm? circular convolution gives you the number which is 4 4 given means output will be of length 4 hmm? linear convolution 4 4 output will be 4 plus 4 minus 1 7 hmm? that's what is very important next board i will take a numerical example and explain you how exactly to obtain linear convolution using circular convolution method let us go to the next board with a numerical example okay students let us take a numerical example so as to understand the linear convolution in detail hmm? i am just taking x1 n 2 1 1 2 and x2 n 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 okay let us linearly convolute these two so as to obtain x3 of n which is x1 n convoluted linearly with x2 n okay what you have to do is the following steps you have to follow huh? step 1 step 1 let us obtain the length of the first signal that is x1 n the length of this is 1 1 1 1 that means 4 hmm? length is equal to 4 let us obtain the length of the second signal that is m that is also of 4 correct the length is 4 now now what is the length of the output signal the third signal in linear convolution linear convolution the third signal is l plus m minus 1 that is 4 plus 4 minus 1 Four plus four minus one, which is equal to seven. N is equal to seven. Please note that the length of the output signal is of hmm, seven. Now, actually, given signal is of length four. Output signal is of length seven. What you have to do is step two. You have to append with the zeros. Append with zeros. append with zeros what i am doing is i am just modifying the signal x1 n huh? 
so that it become of length 7 2 1 1 2 it was length 4 I will add 3 zeros so that the total length became equal to hmm, total length became equal to 7 hmm. similarly second signal x2 n x2 n 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 I will be appending with 3 zeros hmm. why actual length is 4 I want length 7 here hmm. now that's what you did now step 3 step 3 step 3 is to obtain the third signal x3 of n which is x1 n convoluted circularly with x2 n huh, with length 7 try to understand why I am moving to circular convolution you are asked to find the linear convolution correct why you are going with circular convolution there is no difference between circular or linear only the difference is of length hmm? what I did now I did circular convolution huh, with length 7 that means it became a linear convolution hmm? now you know how to do circular convolution between two signals I will just use the matrix method okay it is very simple and easy in matrix method you are supposed to write the first any one matrix huh, in a folded manner and you should go on rotating it and the another signal you should write in a column I will take this signal itself as the uh, signal which I am writing in the matrix okay it doesn't matter which signal you write here I am writing this signal first I will write 2 and then come in the reverse direction correct fold it 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 2 1 1 2 1 1 correct right and the another signal I will write the column 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 0 0 0 correct generally this signal which you write now here let this signal be of a smaller length okay so that more zeros are here that will be always better if more zeros are there no then uh, calculation becomes easy now what I do I just have to rotate this correct before that another easy way is write the first column also how to write the first column write actual signal given see now what I do 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 0 0 0 correct I wrote actual signal now I just do the shifting 2 comes here 0 goes next 0 goes next 0 goes next 2 goes next 1 goes next actually this one comes back to here hmm? that I already written 1 2 0 0 0 2 1 1 2 0 0 0 2 1 1 2 0 0 0 came here 2 1 1 2 0 0 0 2 1 1 2 hmm? now I have to multiply row and column again before you multiply please note that three zeros are there here correct three zeros are there because of these three zeros these last three column multiplication doesn't give you anything hmm? because these zeros when you multiply no this vanishes hmm? hence no need for you to concentrate on these last three columns hmm? now output I directly obtain x3 of n is equal to x3 of n is equal to row and column and that also only 4 hmm? I told you why because of these zeros 2 into 1 2 plus 0 0 0 that means 0 plus 0 plus 0 my answer became 2 next no need for you to write at all hmm? next 1 into 1 1 2 into minus 1 minus 2 0 0 hmm? plus 0 plus 0 answer is minus 1 next 1 into 1 1 1 into minus 1 minus 1 2 into minus 1 minus 2 plus 0 answer became equal to minus 2 next I am here correct 2 into 2 into 1 2 1 into minus minus 1 hmm? 1 into minus 1 minus 1 2 into 
this 2 this became equal to 2 next 0 minus 2 minus 1 1 into 1 answer became equal to minus 2 hmm? next 0 0 2 zeros next 2 into minus 2 1 into 1 plus 1 answer became equal to minus 1 hmm? last one correct 3 zeros 0 plus 0 plus 0 3 zeros then 2 into 1 answer became equal to 2 hmm? hence 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 my answer the third output became equal to I write in a my normal manner 2 minus 1 minus 2 2 minus 2 minus 1 2 correct what is the length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 hmm? please see that hmm? output is of length 7 this is what you are supposed to get hmm? I am just doing the circular method that is all circular method but you 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 do not get confused what is the linear convolution and circular convolution there is no much difference huh? circular convolution if you had asked say if I asked you convolute x1 and x2 circularly what would have been the length length will have been 4 same two signals if I asked you to do linear convolution what is the length 7 hmm? method will be the same okay circular convolution method hmm? I will I will ask you the same assignment problem which you had solved hmm, for circular convolution so as to get the linear convolution okay uh, that is uh, I just uh, uh, just ask that problem assignment okay assignment assignment which you are supposed to do is Ah, same one x1 n is equal to 1 2 3 1 x2 n is equal to 4 3 2 2 4 3 2 2 I want you to get x3 n which is x1 n convoluted with x2 n please see that linear convolution I want hmm? x1 n convoluted with x to n okay uh, please post me the answer please call me if you are having any doubts i can clarify them huh? uh, this is a very important concept where we need to understand it so that the further problems can be solved hmm? okay then thank you